I find peace disturbing. I'm serious. I'm, I'm so used to a fast pace of uh, things and ideas and uh, emails and uh, events happening that if you take it away from me, I'll, I'll almost have a, like a withdrawal. I like to travel to a different place every day. After a while, it gets under your skin, it changes you, and you become a fast-paced person. Childhood, a fairly normal childhood for East European country. You know, you, you live in a big building, apartment building. You go outside, you play with your friends. After you play for some time, my mother would stick her head out the window and she'd yell my name really, really loud. And uh, if I was within probably half a mile of the building, I, I would hear her voice and I would come home. My parents both are musicians. My father the oldest and my mother a piano player and they were both teachers. Family is kind of slow paced and that's, it's, it's nice, it's like a balance. Creativity is very important in uh, my business in particular because we're inventing new things all the time and pushing the frontiers. Creativity and pressure don't really go together very well. That's what makes it hard and, and challenging. You have to learn to uh, create under pressure. And it's not easy, but uh, if it was easy, everybody would do it. We find talent wherever it occurs. And we do kind of like an IQ arbitrage. Talent is distributed statistically throughout the world, but opportunity is not. So we match up the talent with the opportunity. We don't believe in any single way of doing things. So, so many companies believe they found uh, the, the correct way. We think there is no correct way. And the correct way is to find every possible way and to combine them and, and make use of each way for what it has to offer. When you provide education to somebody, it uh, lasts you know, a long time and it spans generations. Uh, that's the idea behind World Quant University, to create a world's first free be accredited online master's degree program in the quantitative finance and we chose quantitative finance number one we're familiar with it and number two there are great opportunities in it you know i just like to teach them to be uh, honest and fair to work hard to finish what they start and not to accept any uh, limits people often think they have limits but uh, they're imaginary <laughs>